in this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to pull out. Now, this has a number of different meanings, but the meaning I wanted to focus on today means to withdraw from something. So let's say you uh, signed up to play in a badminton tournament and it's, uh, the tournament is in two weeks, but at the last minute, you might decide to pull out. You might decide to withdraw your registration for that tournament. You might decide not to do it. So in that sense, to pull out can mean to decide not to do something. This also is used to describe things like when a country invades another country, eventually that country might decide to pull out. So if one country sends uh, soldiers into another country, they might decide to withdraw. They might decide to pull out of that country. So it has a couple of different meanings, but that's the meaning I wanted to focus on today, to withdraw or to decide not to do something. The second phrase I wanted to teach you today is to pull through. Now, this is a very serious phrase. We use it to talk about when someone gets injured and when we say they're going to pull through, it means that they're going to survive. So it's something you talk about after someone has a really bad car accident. You might say, oh, Joe had a really bad car accident. He's very badly injured, but he will pull through. Um, that means that the doctors think that he will heal. They'll probably do some surgeries or something to help him feel better. But when you say someone is going to pull through, it's used to describe a serious situation where someone was hurt and they're not going to die. They're going to get better. They're going to pull through. So to review, to pull out means to withdraw or to decide, or to decide not to do something. Uh, and to pull through means that you uh, were hurt very, very badly, but you're going to get better. So if you were in a car accident and someone said, oh, he was injured badly, but he's going to pull through, it means you're going to get better. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Know That. Hello, Bob. So do you have special clothes for working on your farm, like overalls or something like that? Or do you just use some of your old shirts and pants? By the way, that reminds me of something you mentioned once, that you don't like it when your dogs jump on you in the morning because you don't want your school clothes <laughs> uh, to get dirty and then you have to change again. Thanks for the new lesson, Bob. Have a great day. And my response, that is correct. I have different clothes for the farm. They are a collection of older clothes and specific farm clothes. Sometimes I wear older jeans that aren't good to wear in public anymore on the farm. So yeah, that's a good question. I talk about uh, school clothes and uh, farm clothes like without really explaining it. I've, I've just used those terms before, but yes, I do have different clothes. So on a day like this, when I come home, I just come outside in my school clothes. I call these my school clothes to make a quick video for you. Uh, but then I will change into my farm clothes later uh, because I have, to, uh, I have to help Jen do a few things out here in the flower field. So yes, my farm clothes, I have a few specific things. Like I have really good work boots that I use on the farm. Um, I have most of my t-shirts are just old t-shirts that I don't wear out in public anymore. And most of my pants uh, are just uh, old jeans that I don't wear. Like maybe they have a little hole in them or something. Uh, but Jen and I also have long sleeved sun shirts, special shirts that you can wear. They're a very thin material, um, but they're nice to wear out on the farm so that you don't get sunburnt because um, I sunburn fairly easily. But I'm not sure if you've seen the farm. So I'll give you a look. Let me uh, spin you around so you can see. Things are quite green out here. Mostly the green is just from the grass, from the lawn, but we do have some things starting to grow. Um, but we're still a few weeks away from going to market. We'll probably start going to market at the end of May. We'll have a few flowers and uh, then the season will start again. Uh, should be pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a couple of days with another short English lesson. Bye.